Hi, Jose. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. I can't hear you. Para nada. Hey, say something. Hi. Oh, I have to go anyway because I forgot something. Wait, wait, I want to hear you. What? Hold on. Maybe it's me. Oh, there. Uh huh. Say something. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right back. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> Ando gripe, bueno, no gripe, alergia. Hi, Ashley. Hola. Hola, Mario José. <laughs> Hola, Mario José. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y vos? Bien, fíjate. <coughs> es que está sucio, Hola. Hola, chicos. Hola, mi Hailey. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, José. ¿Cómo estás, tía? Bien, ¿y vos? Todo bien. Aquí, mira, Jessica. Ajá. Start screen. Ajá. Y usted escoge. ¿Dónde está su presentación aquí? No, yo voy a ponerlo ahí. Seleccione la pantalla que In quiere. Two minutes. Buenas. Hola. <laughs> Voy a poner esto bien. Continúo. Ya. Yeah. Ok, es en Tanner Allen. Está sad. Sad no está viva. Ok, go there. English. Hey. Hola, hija de mi corazón. Uy, bo. ¿Cómo? Ya la voy, ya la voy a encar, espérate. No estoy. Sadie, vos cuando viste a Hailey, bueno, me voy. Literal. <risa> No le estás ayudando mucho que digamos así. <ríe> Ups. Ay, Dios. Perdón, mi Jessica. Espera, <ríe> espera. Así es. Me dice que no puedo usarlo. Sí. Oh. Perdón. ¿Cómo pasa, Sí, no, no, no. Perdón. Pensé que era el cambio de pantalla. Tranquila, tranquila. Ay, está llegando Ángelo. Ajá, ¿y dónde está aquí? ¿Por qué no se me Ahora la compude aquí, porque no aparece. Buenas. Buenas. Hola, hola. Perdón que entró tarde, mía, que estaba... Haciendo unas cosas en la casa. Look, you're like on time compared to me forgetting to put my presentation on the computer. Si no va a hacer that. ¿Están viendo la pantalla, chicos? Sí. En blanco está. En blanco, ¿verdad? Pero si no... Ay, sí. Lo puedo cerrar. Puedo cerrarle esto a Chafi que tiene aquí. Ya. Yeah. Ahora me pone aquí. Okay. Adiós. Bye, heroína. Bye. Bye. Take care, Adiós. 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 El Pepe. Hey, I can't see Angelo. That's Amazon. 
at the set. Did you get your hair cut? Uh huh. Daddy, where are you? Eso estoy haciendo, pero no me deja entrar a la cámara y acabo de salir para arreglar eso, pero no, no sé qué pasa. Mieka. Ya. Yeah. Yo no he leído eso, Mieka, no tuve tiempo. Estaba arreglando. Me voy a salir a ver, Lo hago yo. Aprende. Hey. Um, no problem. Thanks for letting me know. A lot of it was repeat from last week. Did anybody see that? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, Sadi left again. Okay, I don't know, has anybody heard from Kelly? Oh, yeah, Pella? Voy al baño. Yes. <laughs> has anybody heard from Kelly or Ismar? No, me Jessica. Uh-oh. ¿Qué página era, mi? Página... Uh, one second. Three, yeah, 18. Thanks. 18. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to call Junior. Wait for Papa to get back in the bathroom. <laughs> Fine, Sadi. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> At the edge. At Pep. Mika, you know what is the Swan Fat song? The what? <laughs> Swamp fan song. No. That's not you, a new word. What does it mean? Quickly. Zoom. One second. Yes, Junior, what? Do you hear something in the background? Yeah, but it's not big. Okay, Junior, I'm turning you around. Can you see? Say hi to your compañeros. Junior says hi. <laughs> Hello, you know, Junior. <laughs> Primera vez en la vida que entra a tu. Oops, oops. Sadi. Where did Angela go? Sí, yo fui. ¿Fuiste la mesa o estamos paritos? ¿Cómo? Estamos Sí. Mi hija está molestando. No, mi Jessica. Así en negro me voy a quedar. Okay, Sorry. chica. We miss your face, but we'll be okay. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get started, you guys. So, look. Um, <clears throat> can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you can see the screen? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, let's see how long it lasts. Miss Ashley, Miss Ashley's gonna use her computer because she's so nice. Okay, you can still see okay? Yes. I just heard you. Just not Junior. One second, Junior. Let me move this thing. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, who can tell me what an adjective is? Yo. Ashley, go for it. <laughs> Is a word that, modif that modifies a noun or a pronoun? <laughs> okay, good. It's the words that are going to modify a noun or a pronoun. It describes, right? Most of the time, where does an adjective come? In the beginning, um, before a noun or after a noun? Angelo? Um, In English, where does an adjective come? Before a noun or after a noun? Before a noun or after a noun? Mm -hmm. Said, yeah, before. Exactly, yeah, don't be scared. <laughs> exactly, we say, <clears throat> Angelo is a nervous student right now. Nervous describes Angelo and student. So it comes before student. <clears throat> okay, but we're going to see today that sometimes it comes after as well. An adverb in your own word, Jose, what's an adverb? A word that modifies a verb. Or an adjective or another adverb. Okay, exactly. That's where adverbs get a little confusing, you guys, because they can actually modify a lot of different things, including a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Okay, so it starts to get a little complicated at that point. 
But the thing is, is like now you already know what nouns are. Now you already know what verbs are. Now you already are going to know what prepositions are and different stuff like that. So when you come to certain <laughs> words in a sentence, the way that you're going to define if they're an adverb or an adjective is because they can't be anything else. Okay, so if you look at the example here on the pantaya, cheerful giver, which we used before, cheerful is your adjective describing giver. But for adverb, mm -hmm. it's look there. So that, that describes where are you going to look. Look is the verb. Where are you going to look? Look there. So there is your adverb. Or spoke softly. All your L-Y words most of the time are adverbs. So um, it's describing how you spoke. Spoke softly. So getting more into adjectives. Remember that they answer the questions, what kind, how many, whose, which ones, how much. So you look at the examples. Cheerful giver describes what kind of giver. Six points describes how many points. Whose puppy, his puppy. Whose Bible, Hannah's Bible. Which apples, those apples. Or how much grace, abundant grace. So that's all adjectives. Also remembering that the ones in blue, a, an, and the, are also adjectives but the exercise today doesn't want you to look at those, okay? They just want you to look at the other adjectives. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so exercise 24, yes. we're just gonna be looking for adjectives and adverbs. So going into a little bit more detail for adjectives, you can also have proper adjectives, okay? Which is something that you saw in your reading, but um, proper adjectives are those with capital letters because there's something specific. For example, Hawaiian pineapple. That is described in um, 3.40 in your book. Hawaiian pineapple, Hawaiian describes what kind of pineapple, but it is also a proper adjective because it's a capital letter, okay? It's a specific kind of pineapple. It's not just a yellow pineapple, but it's a pineapple that actually comes from Hawaii. Easter parade. Easter is a proper adjective because it's a capital letter and it's a specific parade for a specific day. Okay. Some adjectives come after the word that they modify. Like we're, um, Angela just told us that they come before the, the noun, but sometimes they come after. Like look at these sentences right here in the examples. Peter was impetuous. Okay. Impetuous describes Peter, which is like annoying, by the way. But Impestuous describes Peter because it's um, combined with a linking verb, not an action verb. Noah, skilled and cautious, is an excellent driver. So this one comes after Noah because it describes Noah in the positive. So it's describing him as skilled and cautious. And then the last one, they painted the barn red. What color did they paint it? They painted it red. So red wait, describes barn. One second, let me get my, one second, one second, let me get my um, charger. Ay, no. Ay, no, mi Jessica. Qué estrés, qué estrés, qué estrés. Aguántame. ¿Qué pasó? I mean, not aguántame, I mean, thank you for your patience. El pep. <laughs> bueno, si le toca hacer otra Zoom call. Que no apuesta su cargador. Bien, yeah, I know, right? We'll try, but I bet we'll do another Zoom call. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no we <laughs> So, we have also over here in the corner, several adjectives may modify the same word. That is in um, 3.42. The long, slow drive will be tiring. So, all those words describe the drive. Long, slow, and tiring. Okay? Questions so far? No. Okay, here we go. Adverbs. Adverbs answer the questions where, how, and to what extent. So look where. Look there. There's your adverb. Spoke softly. Spoke how? He spoke softly. To what extent? How much did you complete? He only completed it partially, so partially describes completed. Work. Now, when do you work? You work now. And how often do you sing? You sing seldomly, like rarely. Don't forget that the adverbs also include the word not. That's one word that we're going to miss a lot of times sometimes. But don't forget that the word not is an adverb or your contraction can't. The part NT is also your adverb. 
Okay, here's some more examples for adverbs. It modifies verbs, right? That's the most common one. Granddad often takes a walk. So how often does he take a walk? Like a lot. The water drips slowly. How did the water drip? Slowly. John will not arrive. So not is your, your adverb. And anxiously, the father of the child waited. How did the child wait? When answer that, anxiously. It can also describe yeah. adjectives because Look at this one. Grandma makes especially good pickles. What describes the word pickles in that in that sentence right there? Good. 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 Okay. But what describes good? Especially. Especially. So if the adjective has a um, a word that it describes, that becomes an adverb. Okay. You can't have an ad. You can't have a word describing an adjective and call it another adjective. It's just you have, if you have more adjectives, it's because it's describing one noun. So when you have a word describing the adjective, it's an adverb. And then you have words that modify the adverb. So for example, the one in the sentence right here, Nick approached the beehive somewhat cautiously. Cautiously is your adverb describing how he approached, but then somewhat is describing how cautiously. So it's describing the adverb. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, okay. Before we do this, let's go over to, here we go. Let's do exercise 24 before we do prepositions and conjunctions. So let's look at number one. Let's do this one together. All you have to do is let's underline all the adverbs, like it says, and draw a circle around your adjectives, but don't do the arrows, okay? So in the first one, you're gonna find one adjective and three adverbs. So read the sentence and then do this one with me. Tell me who can find the one adjective. I mean, it's um, nothing, I think. Actually, in this case, nothing is gonna be your um, noun. Oh, boy. Surprisingly. Um, <laughs> give? No, no. Liberally? <laughs> no, no, it's a home. Adver, creo yo. Yeah, that's an adverb because it ends in L-Y. In away? Away, away, Away is an adverb because it describes give. Ah, yo lo puse como adverbio. <laughs> Advice is a noun. No, pues. <laughs> Dare. No. Dare. 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 Because dare describes what? Uh, there are by the advice. Advice. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so there describes advice. So there is your adjective. You circle it. Yep, circle that one. Okay, what about your three adverbs? Liberally. Liberally is mm -hmm. one, good. Away. Away is one. So. So is the other one. Oh. Uh, better than that. Does everyone understand why? Yes. Okay. Junior, you good? I'm sorry, what? Um, so and liberally. So is going to describe liberally, right? Okay, that makes sense? Okay. Cool, here we go. Look at number two. You have five adjectives and one, no, yeah, five adjectives and one adverb. One adverb. <laughs> Oh, 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 five adjectives. <sighs> Old. Old is one of the adjectives. No, classical. 
What? Classical. Oh, no. Yep, classical is one of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, yep. Angelo and Jose, is that what you said? Many. Many, yep. And one more that it's weird because it looks like a pronoun. It's. It. Good. Who said that? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm on a black screen. Okay. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> okay, who found? But this one's a hard one. Who found the adverb? Uh -uh. <laughs> it has. Wait a second. Has is a verb. Who said another word? So say, what'd you say? Still. Still. Still has. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> Por fin. <laughs> okay, look at number three. Three adjectives, one adverb. I know. Loudly. <laughs> Loudly is what, Hala? Adjective. Adverb. Remember your adverb. Your adverb. So you found. Okay, she found the adverb. Yeah. Imminent, mi Jessica. Imminent, good. Imminent is an adverb. Warning. Wait, what's that? Warning. Warning. Perfect. Warning is the um an adjective. Uh huh. In danger. Oh no. The fire alarm. No. Fire. Sound. Fire describes alarm. It's uh. fire. I think it's a whole about. Mirad, Sadi, No, no, miro. Okay, just let me know if you're confused because um, remember, I don't care about you becoming expertos. I only care about you understanding the sentido behind it, okay? For grammar. Everything else I want you to be an expert in. Okay, number four. Yeah. Okay, imminent describes the danger. Imminent means like it's coming soon. And danger is like peligro, right? So, huh? Okay, here we go, number four. Three adjectives, one adverb. Three adjectives. Long? Uh -huh, long is a what? Adjective. Adjective. Hair. Hair, hair. So long as hair. Hair. hair, good. Perkis, adjective. Uh huh, uh huh, describing nurse. And then? Then is what, Ashley? Adverb. Adverb describing traveled. And what? How many? Oh, uh, one. Abraham's. Abraham's describing servant, good. Hey. You good, Angela? Okay. Three and one. Good. Yep, three and one. Good. Okay, here we go. Number five. One adjective, two adverbs. <clears throat> Somewhat cautiously. Good, there's your two adverbs. Large. Oh. And large mm -hmm. is your adjective. Good, there you go. Mm -hmm. dos adverbs? Somewhat cautiously. Okay. What do you? Hear? Uh huh. Yep. Because cautiously describes approach, and then somewhat describes cautiously. The adjective was The adjective was large to describe beehive. Okay. Here we go. Don't say the answer out loud on the next one until I tell you to. What, on number six, only one adverb and only one adjective. Entire? Daddy. No. Daddy no tenía que decirlo. That's good. Ah, ah, perdón. <laughs> it is entire is right though. Okay, but then okay, ready? What's the adverb? Not. Not. Woohoo! Okay, got it. Then 
Ya no voy a hablar. Ya, yeah, what's up? Mejor apago mi micrófono. Mi what, Junior? Ay, la toca. Okay, have is part of your verb. Don't forget. Have completed creates a verb phrase. <clears throat> so it's not that have, perdón. <clears throat> it's not that have is describing completed. It's that it's, cre it's creating the verb phrase. So, the, the adverb is going to be not. Okay, look at number um, look at number three point fifty one, Junior. <clears throat> okay, that not is always an adverb. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks for asking. Here we go, number seven. There's four adjectives and no adverbs. <coughs> Decathlon. Mm -hmm. Fast. Strong draw. Uh -uh, fast. Okay, give me another one. Strong. Strong. Uh, another one. Key. I hear the ultimate. Agile, uh, agile. Agile. Okay, what is decathlon? Decathlon is decathlon is where you um participate in um like a race, but it has ten obstacles, ten things you have to do, like um a race to go on a bike, then you swim, then you run, then you walk, then you Something like that. But what is decathlon? What is that, Angelo? It's a what? Okay. What is that word though? In this sentence, it's a what? Declaton. <laughs> it's a. ¿Qué quiere que diga? Adjective, adverb, noun, preposition. What is it? No dijeron que era adverb. Adjective, digo. It's an adjective. Good. Yep. It's an adjective. Okay. Here we go. So you have your four adjectives there: declaton, fast, strong, agile. Look at number eight. One and one. One adjective, oh. one adverb. No. Ah, sí, ya lo encontré. ¿Cuánto lo puedes decir? ¿Lo puedes? One and one. Oh, okay. Yes, Daddy, go for it. What did you find, chica? Okay. Very. I found... <laughs> Mi yeca y voy a matar. Background. Background's a noun. Sorry. Oh, barely. Barely. Barely is an adverb. Barely is an adverb, um, and what is the adjective? Visible. Visible, good. No, en serio. Yeah. Sí, porque barely está, descri está describiendo visible. Uh-huh, and then visible because, look, it says the ermine was visible. Remember, there's a linking verb there. It's very possible there's going to be an adjective after that linking verb. Just like um, Hello? this example I gave right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, I don't remember the example I gave. But anyway, there's an example where what after a was comes your adjective, okay? So like right now, Paula was tired. Tired describes who? Paula. Paula. Tired is the adjective, okay? You good, Junior? Okay, snow, look at, look at what, um, that's a good question, but look what snow comes after. Of, right? Of is an object of, uh, as a preposition, so snow has to be a noun. Has to be. Okay? Okay, here we go. Look at number nine. One adjective, three adverbs. One adjective, three adverbs. Oh, wait a second. Let me give you one of the adverbs because it's dumb. One of the adverbs is that whole phrase right there, in order to understand. Yo había puesto understand, pero... Okay, yo puse... Half of it. What, Ashley? Yo... No, no. Okay. Yo había puesto thoroughly. Thoroughly, good. Thoroughly is the other adverb. There's one more, actually, sorry. What is Listen. it? Attentively. Attentively, good. And what's the adjective? Angelo. What's the adjective? <laughs> I 
estos ancudos miecas tan fuertes. Is it raining there? Sí. Oh, okay. What's your adjective? Adjective. ¿Cómo sería? Um, a conscious, conscious. What is conscientious? The adjective, good, okay. The one that's um, concentrated, <laughs> good, okay. Here we go, let's look at um, preposition. <coughs> we have 10 minutes, I think we can get through. Yeah, Ashley, what's up? I don't understand why the whole phrase. Okay, the whole phrase is an adverb. That's a great question. It's just that it's the dumbest thing in the whole English language. So I didn't want to... Um, I didn't introduce it before the exercise because I think it's ridiculous. They say that infinitive phrases, remember it's infinitivos in, in inglés start with the word to, right? So like to understand. So they say this whole phrase is an adverb because it describes will listen. In order to understand, the student will listen. Okay, so that's the only thing that it's describing is the verb phrase in the sentence, therefore it has to be the adverb they say. Oh, okay. Thank but you. like who made the decision that you can call a whole phrase an adverb? I don't know. That's why I don't like it. But anyway, that's the explanation. Thank you for asking. Okay, here we go. Prepositions and conjunctions. I honestly think that this is going to be pretty easy, you guys, to understand. Prepositions are the words that show how a noun or pronoun is related to something. So let me show you what I mean. We've talked about this before. These are all your prepositions, right? Prepositions are like anything, like in something, on something, by something, near something, with something, among something, until something, on, off, etc. Those are all your prepositions, okay? So any of those little tiny words that cannot be conjunctions. Well, what are conjunctions? Conjunctions are words or that join usually phrases or clauses or sentences, okay? So, you remember fanboys? Does everybody remember fanboys? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, right? Those are your what? Coordinating conjunctions. Conjun coordinating conjunctions. The other type of conjunction you guys see down here, there's coordinating conjunction and there's subordinating conjunction. The, co the subordinating conjunctions are the ones, you remember those little words that you use? to make some one phrase important in a sentence and one phrase not so important. Like for example, I'll show you right here. After I get back from the game, I'm going to sleep. So that word after right there is going to be a, conjun a conjunction and not a preposition because it's, it's using it to change the phrase I get back from the game to be less important than I'm going to sleep, okay? After I get back from the game, I'm going to sleep. Therefore, because it's being used for a phrase, it has to be a conjunction. But look at this one. After I went to, I mean, I went to Pizza Hut after the game. The game is not a phrase, you guys. The game is just a noun. So you're not using it to connect two phrases together. You're just, you're just using it to describe when you went to Pizza Hut. So it's a preposition, okay? Look at this one. I slept until noon. Noon is not a phrase, so you're not combining anything with the word until. You're just telling them when you slept, so until is a preposition. But over on the other hand, I slept until it was time for lunch. Until is connecting the phrase, I slept, to the phrase, it was time for lunch. So those, now it becomes a conjunction. Okay? Más o menos? You're only gonna see like one of those in the exercise today and I'll, I'll give you the answer on that one. So let me see if there's anything else. No. So here we go, look at your exercise. Find the word, I wanna show you one really, really quickly. Um, till, look at the second line, the word till. Okay. That is going to be a conjunction, and here is why. Till is a short version of until, and it's combining two phrases. To nourish them with good learning, 
until our taste grows healthy. So that is going to be a conjunction, okay? But here we go. See if you can find 12 prepositions and five conjunctions inside that exercise. One the 12 prepositions and five conjunctions, including the one I just told you. Me acá. Yeah, what's up? Y porque el, el tío que está arriba de ese no está para identify. I'm sorry, say that again. El, el otro tío que está arriba de él. Oh, yeah. El, you're right no? that it, it's a conjunction, but they're not asking for that one. But you're right, it is a conjunction, Angelo. Uh -huh. I don't know why they didn't circle that one. Also, two. Is a is a preposition. Yep, it is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, what's up? Only. Yes, I'm going to go for a rato. Ya vengo, solo voy a hacer algo. Okay. Only. Where is that Not one? Only. Where is that one, Jose? On the fourth line. Oh, not only. Okay. Thank you. I'll give that one to you. It is a conjunction. Because it's all together, it's the two of us. Yep, it's all together. It's a conjunction. It's because it's all together with and. Not only is going to be one conjunction together. Okay, I understand not is always an adverb, but together it's going to be the conjunction. Okay, it's very possible that it's going to kick us off, so I want to just start going through it. So here we go. Just yell it out to me. What is the word with? Prep. Prep. Preposition. 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 See, um, Junior, correct principles is not a phrase or like a sentence. So with is just describing what you're going to do it with. It has to be a preposition. Okay. Of? Um, preposition. Preposition, uh-huh. Till, we already said this conjunction. Between? Conjunction. Prep, preposition. It's a preposition, and here's why, Paula, because good and bad also is not a phrase. It's just um, words to describe where they were between, okay? In? Preposition. Preposition. And? Prep. Conjunction. And will always be a conjunction. Good. Remember, remember fanboys, Paula? Always be a conjunction, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, we already said not only, so go down to the second line in the second paragraph of? Prep. Uh-huh. From? Prep. Good. Or? Conjunction. Always a conjunction, good, because of fanboys. You good, Angela? Si. Oh, no, Ashley got kicked out. Wasn't it? Hey, Ashley. <laughs> okay, here we go, Ashley. We're on the third line of the second, par uh, the second paragraph. Or is conjunction. So go down to the next line. In? Right. Right. Prep and, and Jessica. I'm sorry, what, Ashley? And call me Jessica. Oh, perdón. Go to the second paragraph. Uh huh. Go down to line number one, two, three, four, five, five. 
I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so you go to second paragraph, line number five. We're talking about the word in is what? Rep. Rep. Preposition. Okay, B side. Rep. Preposition, good. As? Conjunction. Preposition, yep. Look at pronunciation and syntax. There's no phrase there, right? It's just words. As to, to is always going to be a preposition unless it's forming an infinitive, okay? By? Prep. Prep. Um, to? Prep. Prep. And the last one, and? Conjunction. Conjunction. Conjunction, okay? There you go, guys. That's it. If there's any questions, just let me know. Just um, text me or um, send me a voice note, okay? Because I think the thing's going to end. Remember that for me, if you can use the resources that you have, like the list of prepositions in front of you, and understand that a preposition is going to be not be connecting um, a phrase, but a conjunction will be, stuff like that, then that's helpful, but you don't need to memorize a lot of stuff. We have evaluation week coming up in two weeks. The way that we're going to do it is that you're going to identify, like, um, we're going to practice it next week on the Zoom call. You'll identify the parts of speech, but you're going to have all your resources right there. You'll have your list of prepositions. You'll have your definition of everything. So it's not like you're going to have to figure it out by memorizing anything. Okay? Okay. What, Angela? El Pepe. Okay. El Pepe, muñeca, el Pepe. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm uh, making it as easy as I can. Yeah. I have a question. We're going to have um tests. We cannot call them tests, we call them evaluations, por favor. <laughs> We're gonna have no. um basically you're only gonna have um a not really look in math you'll have a test, but I'm not calling it as it's it's a C. You have evaluation because they don't get any more puntos. When you're in virtual classes, you don't get any more points put toward a test of an evaluation than you do any other homework. So the week of evaluations, cuenta como tarea. For most of your classes, it's going to be proyectos, not evaluations. But obviously, you're going to have, like normal, a test for math. You'll have an evaluation with Miss um, Haley for Spanish. And then we'll do this grammar thing. But besides that, for me, it's not going to be any memorization, nada de eso. It's going to be aplicando your conceptos from the from the parcial to proyectos that I'm going to assign next week. Um, I mean, on the last week. And on that week, the nice thing, too, is that you make your horario. I give you the stuff at the beginning of the week. You guys decide when you're going to do it. I tell you when it's due. Everything else besides that, you're going to have Bible, obviously, the three days that we have Bible, like always. You have Zoom calls program for Spanish, Zoom call program for grammar. And besides that, you make your schedule and get your stuff done. That's all. And we're no, going okay. to do an essay for First Corinthians. Yes, we do that next week. So what we'll do for next week is that you won't have Bible stories the first week like normal. You'll have Bible stories your second week during evaluation week. That'll give you guys some like less writing to do in Bible because you won't have to generate your summary then. You'll generate it the week before. And you won't have a summary for second. We're going to get into the first three chapters of First Corinthians or Second Corinthians, or no, but I won't assign a summary that week because you'll already be cargado with other projects. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. I want to do it this way for the projects for the evaluation week because I want you guys to feel like you're in the university. In the university, they're not going to give you like a tapas, right? They're just going to say, "Aquí está tu proyecto. Send it to me when you're done, right?" So I want to kind of like help you with that. But I'm also going to help you make your agenda the Friday before it starts so that you don't feel completely perdidos either because you're not in the university yet. Okay? So to prepare you for that. Okay? Okay. Have a great day, you guys. Miss you a lot. Have fun. Go. You can take a nap, Angela. Está bien. No problem. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.